Okay. A very good day to Dr. Yili. Uh, we from group two. Our topic is chain impact analysis. So the presenter has Andrew and Corbin. Um, so we start the presentation. Okay. For our topic, change impact analysis. So introduction, uh, software maintenance is generally expensive, difficult, and time consuming. One of the reason is it's is difficult for software maintenance engineers to fully understand a software system that they did not design or implement. Sometimes when they are developer uh, their own system, it is easy to forget the details of the design or code. So there are a few reasons for changes in a software system. So uh, we review a five paper to discuss about the change in that analysis. So we proceed the first paper. Uh, the first paper I will pass to another presenter, uh, Mr. Corbino, will present. Okay. So good morning, Dr. Ili. My name is Corbino. Right now I will continue for the the uh the review paper, the first review paper. So in this paper, uh, it is stated that there is a few reasons for changes in the software systems. So the first reason is to ensure the performance of the software to be maintained, which we know it as perfective maintenance. The second, to ensure the errors in a specification design and implementation to be corrected, which is also uh, known as corrective maintenance. The third one, adaptive maintenance, which is to ensure the final product is able to operate in a diverse environment. And the last one, evolution maintenance, which the final product is default. So reasons to carry out impact analysis is to estimate the change of cost. The second reason is to understand the meaning and the relation Shift between the item of change and structure of software. The third one is to record the change of history related information and evaluate the quality of the particular change. The fourth one, after a change is carried out, determine the parts of the software that may need to be regression tested. And lastly, in order to determine whether the functionality of those parts of the software is sub such acceptable to changes made to the software. Next slide, please. So right now, uh, the, the, uh, the diagram stated is the conceptual framework for this paper study. So in this framework, uh, it used this formula known as function impact, which which the function impact is also the impact analysis functions, and you can you can see inside is there is a uh, what we call a symbol pi is actually the uh, what we call the the factor that actually depends on the software system view and right right on the right side we can see that the o1 uh, comma uh, triple dot and oi comma ok are the direct victims of the change uh, which is example are the objects that have direct relationships with ojs so this is actually linked linked by the explicit dependencies so that they have a set of order pairs. Next slide, please. So the, the factors that have the ability to estimate the impact of the change and perform change propagations is actually software system views, change types, set of objects to be manipulated, dependency relationships between object of S, 
which we can actually look back on the formula which from the framework, the o, OI, and there is a range of objects and the F impacts <coughs> and, <coughs> and also its properties. <coughs> Next slide. So this is actually the architecture of the prototype. So in this prototype, we can see that there is a three major systems, which is the extraction subsystems, the knowledge basis system, uh, the knowledge base, and the abstractors. So the extraction subsystem actually accepts as inputs the HOODs, ODS, and the EDA code. So right here, we can see that HOO ODS is actually the HOO object distribution description skeletons. So the output produced as direct relationship which are later converted to colloc facts and rules. Right now the abstractors will work to receive the queries and execute the abstraction process on the relations and produce replies to the users. Okay, next slide. So as a conclusion for this uh, the first paper, we have to understand the possible implications of making small changes. And change often produce massive effect in one studies. So we, we also have to identify all the files, models, and documents that might have to be mo modified if the team requested for change. And lastly, we have to identify the tasks required to implement the change and estimate the effort and time needed to complete these tasks. Right, now I will pass to Junyu to continue for the second paper. Okay, so far I'm Junyu. So I will present the second paper about the modular changes impacts analysis in the factor system. So uh, regarding it, for this paper, the objective, uh, the objective for this article is um, to enable comprehends to quickly design their individual but the uh, methodological and tools support CIA to improve the effort value ratio in CIAs and to, uh, to improve the integration uh, CIA into existing process. So next, uh, this one is the change in back analysis uh, modular, uh, including the possible leaf and consistently for the module application. This is the diagram to design the guideline for CI, uh, for the system review. So in here, we can see the first module is determine impact factory element. So in this uh, first module, we not me. The CIA will doing about uh, the analysis and then the direct relation between relation and then uh, change use for a factory element to ultimately identity a list of uh, potential effect the factory element. So the second module is about the determined change activities. So in this section, specific factory change are delivered or embed factory element if necessary under the consideration of change propagation. So the third is a determined factory performance indicator. In here, it's cause uh, it's cover the change impact analysis uh, on a factory performance indicator. So the fourth is determine change 
effort and change cost is about the cost so in this section is change effort is known as uh, work time while change cost is known as a uh, persona and investment so we can see the next one is about the advantages so uh, the benefits is uh, possible to evaluate change in details and to incorporate them into future development work the second is collect collected uh, knowledge is uh, retained and the uh, evolutions or uh, analysts are not negatively influenced by employee change within in, uh, the company the third is about the quality of the assessment will increase due to ready documentation uh, documented sorry documented knowledge so for the limitation the limitation is a uh, need for further industry evolution in further research activity approach used um, in large manufacturing system and for diff different change case so the last is section of change case properties so conclusion in this paper the advantage of the presented procedure is the practicable and industry capabilities which is ensured by a free choice of four availability modules and their modules and their methods as well as degree of century so the next paper i will pass to covering room to continue to expand Okay, right now is the third paper, which the topic is do programmers uh, do change impact analysis, which is the CIA. So this paper has a direct impact on the designs of change CIA tools for code change activities because it improves the understanding of how programmers will use those tools. So uh, the problem that has occurred in this paper is uh, normally after the programmers has made uh, what we call a, a changes, they usually can't find back the documentations uh, for the, the, the whole system that they have been coding. So it is not a good uh, good actions that we have to learn from them. So right here we have in this figure we have the current impact analysis techniques which focus on automating automating the task. So in the area B we can see is finding the codes that may be affected by a given statement and in the scope of this paper we define that uh, I impact analysis activity as the actions that programmers do to find and understand the code that may belong to the possible change set. And the propagation says all the change set. Okay, right now by def definitions, some examples of IA activities are found navigations, source code reading, and call graph exam examining in fact because of the program comprehensions is one possible way to do cia any programs comprehensions activities are seen seen as ia activities in this paper so next so the overall procedures for methodologies are as below first of all they have to identify the bugs in the reports and Next, they have to set up a development environment you know, virtual machines, which is called VM. And next, they have, they have to install recording software in the virtual machines so they can keep track on what they have made on the changes. And for the on is they have to conduct the studies with the participants, which is also uh, in, the, in this case, is also the programmers 
that have that is in charge of changing the quotes and last one is they have to complete the studies together so, so as a conclusions they discovered that the programmers has the evidence uh, of doing impact analysis so they found out that the practice of impact analysis is actually different from the process of impact analysis described in the literature. So because uh, we have to make the changes depends on our situations. So most of all, all the programmers are not following what is stated in the literatures. So right in this paper also, the programmers also do impact analysis to figure out how to fix the bugs but not using impact analysis tools so uh, right now i will pass to Jun Yu to continue for the next paper okay thank you jordan so in the paper four is about the change in back analysis a system systematic mapping study so the objective of this study is to analyze the existing change in back analysis method for the purpose of uh, characterization with respect to change in back parameters from the point of view of research and participationers in the contents of software maintenance. So the next is about the interpretation of how CIA leads to some benefits and the rationale for the classification are stated below. So we can see it have five points, adaptive maintenance, Predictive maintenance, creative maintenance, prevent, preventive maintenance, and reuse. So next is the research uh, direction in the change in bad analysis focus on four terms uh, considering the instability. So we can uh, see the qualified, the quant quantified uh, instability based on the other metrics assess the effect access the effect of a phenomena on instability assess the effect on instability to other phenomena last is a purpose of mobile instability metric so in this paper the conclusion is the author encouraged the practice to perform the CIA into, in order to reduce the maintenance effort and the number of introduced bugs while applying changes. So the practitioner should also identify the change uh, product act, act, act effect and the fact that you usually attract high volumes of change amounts they should take specific measure to improve their changes ability last should assess the instability of uh, effect, effect which is due to uh, effect based on the class dependency so this is the paper conclusion the paper for conclusion so the next, we'll pass to Jordan to present the paper five. So right now I'm going to review on the last paper, which is the change impact analysis for evolving configuration decisions in product line use case model. So in this paper, they actually include the industrial case study demonstrating the applicability and benefits of I will change impact analysis approach. Uh, so in this paper, they actually in identify two challenges that need to be considered in identifying the impact of decision change and supporting the reconfigurations of 
PS use case model. So the first one is the identify the cause of the impact of changing decisions of uh, product line use case diagram. So the change in impact have different causes which the analyst needs to consider to decide whether the proposed change is suitable and to identify what further uh, to identify uh, sorry it uh, need to be considered in identify the impact of decision change and supporting the reconfigurations of PS use case model. So the second one is incremental regenerations of PS use case model. So for many reasons, uh, the analysts manually assign trace from the PS use case model to other software and hardware specifications. So as well as to the customer's requires, requirements, documents for external system. So next slide. So right here is the tool support that has been used in this study in uh, uh, the short form PUM-COMF. Com. So the PUM-COMF is actually known as the product line use case model configurator. It is has been developed as an IBM DOS plugin. So the features of this tool is to propose a change to identify the change impact on other decisions, to apply the proposed change, and incrementally reconfigure PS use case model. So next slide, please. Okay, so I just uh, explained to you just now on the features. So let us move on. So uh, before I come to a conclusions for this paper. So the limitations of this approach is this approach supports only evolving configuration decisions. So uh, however, changes may also occur on variability aspect of PL use case, uh, which is the pro product line use case model, such as we may introduce a new variations point in the product line use case diagram or remove a variance use case for a given variations point. Next, there should be further improvement in terms of usability in the prototype tools, which is the uh, PUM conf. They plan to perform heuristic e evaluations of the UI according to some rules, such as those listed in typical guidelines documents, by asking the user opinions uh, on ideas for improvement. So the main threats to validity in these ev evaluations is the generalizability of the conclusions we derive from the industrial case studies and the participants' answers in the questionnaire studies. So to mitigate these threats, an approach is applied to the industrial case studies. Further case studies are no longer necessary for improving external validity. In fact, the respondents to their questionnaires were selected to have diverse backgrounds and consistency observed across their answers. And we receive pro uh, and we receive provide confidence about the generalizability of our conclusions among different projects participants. So as a conclusion, this paper actually demonstrates a CIA approach that supports evolving configurations decisions in product line use case models. So although the approach does not support the evolutions of product line use case model, but they managed to improve the decision making process by informing the analysts about the impact of decision change and to minimize manual traceability effort by automatically but incrementally reconfiguring the uh, the PS use case model. So next slide. So as a overall conclusions for the review, after reviewing these five papers, we can actually know uh, that uh, understanding the impacts actually enables the whole teams to quickly and 
accurately respond to change requests. So the team can be responsive and flexible while maintaining the control over the scope and customer expectations. Lastly, impact analysis is important on projects where qualities and safety are an issue. In these situations, it's critical to understand the specific sets of requirements and features that need to be retested after changes has been made. So, and I so the typical impact analysis process will actually look like that throughout the whole reviewing five papers. So the first one is we have to identify the sequence where the task must be performed and how they can be interleaved with current plan tasks. The second one is determine whether the change made is on the project critical path. The third one is estimate the impact of the proposed change on the project's schedule and costing. The fourth one is evaluate the priority changes by estimating the relative benefits, costs, and technical risk compared to other discrete dictionaries uh, requirements. And the last one is report the impact analysis results to all stakeholders so they can make early decisions whether to approve or reject the change request. By this, I will end my presentations for uh, for this review paper presentations. So that's it and thank you very much. Yeah.